I'm standing here with two of the most uh, special pieces in uh, the museum. Uh, this Gothic chair and Gothic library table. Uh, both were made at the Rose Valley shops between 1901 and 1906. This is the classic uh, form Gothic chair. You'll see variations of this. No two are alike, although they do look similar. Uh, this one has a lily pad uh, shaped seat, carved Gothic backsplat, and carved apron here. Original finish. Uh, this table was owned by the Roberts family that did the binding for the artsmen and uh, later the Roberts Press. And so this is what they call a library table or a book table. Generally there would be a lamp on it um, for reading. And what you'll see in, in the side support is this really beautiful uh, lunette with the Rose Valley R and V form uh, logo. Now, the rose here is five petal. And if you go to the other side of the table, you can see the rose over there is a four petal wild rose. To me, that speaks to the hand of the craftsman. Uh, they were given a lot of latitude in individualistic design. And so John Main, who most certainly did the carving, uh, would have added that to show that roses uh, are varied. The table has uh, four large boards with quarter sawn oak that gives it its uh, pizzazz and ray flecking, and again joined by butterfly joints on the top. Uh, there's a shelf that also is integral in the structure for putting books or laptops today underneath. Uh, this table has its original finish and appears in the History of Rose Valley, Volume 1, and was actually put up at auction in about 2000 and bought by Dr. Harrison, brought back here to Rose Valley. The first time I saw this table in Dr. Harrison's home, I, I said to him, there, I, there it is. This is the piece that I bid on at auction well before I knew Dr. Harrison. And I had heard that um, a physician from Rose Valley purchased the table. So that was great. But what he didn't know was that 20 years earlier, I was bidding against him with the intention to bring this thing back home. <laughs>